Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of April. Now, it is a general reading, and so that being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. If you still don't find them there, then um, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, well, you have... Um, uh, you have an unexpected visitor. It's there. <laughs> Coming in. Shifts, detours, changes, surprises. Um, let's go right to the heart of your reading. You have the intellect here. This is a card of... Um, Intellectual growth, the delights of the mind, the plagues of the mind, fantasies and illusions, how we think, how we plan, and how we solve problems. The ability to reason and to understand, to discern, to know the difference between what is true and what is false, what is fantasy and illusion, and what is reality. This is what you will be trying to do when you come face to face with this king. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to have a reunion with you. Um, on that message, I have the Four of Cups. And so... Uh, the Four of Cups is you being maybe unhappy with what is offered or with, uh, how would I say that? It's like, it's not that you're unhappy. What I feel is that you're not sure if it's a fantasy uh, or an illusion, or if if it's real. That's what makes you in that kind of Four of Cups energy. You don't really know. You're not really happy with the, um, uh, the options presented to you because uh, you can't really see what's in the cup. Um, and so that's why that cup is there. It's almost like I keep getting a, um, I need to think about it or I need to sleep on it. Um, hmm. It could be, um, it, I mean, it, it could be you're feeling stuck and this could be a, a repeating situation in your life, possibly. Um, and uh, so the person comes back and you um, you might be thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be the same thing again. So you're not trusting it. Um, you would be questioning the questioning what's on offer, which is the new beginning. Uh, and if you would actually see growth, you don't, uh, you don't believe this person. You're not trusting in what they're telling you. Here we have the message here. See, look at that. There's a message coming to you. Okay. And it could be a text message. That's how it will start, okay? Um, about uh, opening up the idea uh, uh, to open up this uh, window of opportunity for this love once again, okay? Or to become a couple once again or to try again. Here they are writing the message. But it feels threatening in some way, and um, 
that is because of experience. This woman, she's been through the mill here. She has a lot of experience. She would be able to see through to the heart of the matter, to the truth, um, except that she would be able to see to the truth, except that in this case, her heart might be blocking the way, right? Because she's a very deeply emotionally involved. Um... So here we have the news. Uh, somebody brings, it's like they bring you a way out. The challenge will be in accepting uh, the cup that's offered. Um, it could be that this person themselves are or have been challenging to you in the past. It could be that they are typically somebody who's very stubborn doesn't really follow rules. Um, they could have been unwilling to listen in the past. Um, it could be, this could be somebody who um, uh, maybe always likes to win or maybe uh, to be right. Yeah, this could be somebody who was uh, like it could be a relationship that was on again, off again, on again, off again. Um, and it's like uh, you're not trusting it. It's, they're here, they, they're bringing in the offer. Okay, for a rebirth. But, and, and you are tempted, but I mean, you're not trusting it because you can't see with the moon and you might feel that there might be de deception here based upon past experiences. And so you're, this person wants to go another round with you and they want to uh, open another cycle with you. But you're not quite trusting them because the wolf is here and the ghost is here. So you may have been burned by this person before. They could have crossed boundaries with you before. And um, this would be coming back to haunt you because the ghost is about what haunts you. Ghosts from the past, unable to forget, you know, haunted by someone or a situation from the past. Um, being overwhelmed by memories and emotions. And we know it ended badly because it's here in the Five of Swords. So it's, that's Five of Swords energy from the past. It's why you hold back. You're afraid to step out of the uh, comforts, out of your comfort zone uh, and into uh, the unknown, so to speak, you know. There's doubts and uncertainties about what's in the cup. You feel like uh, you can't see. Uh, you're, you're afraid to climb aboard this chariot uh, and, you know, it doesn't move forward. Um, so this Knight of Shields is coming in. Um, this will happen over the, um, oh, over the next month or even two. Um, and he will come in and he is, boy, he's really charming. So very charming, very romantic, very generous, very kind. He knows uh, what you want to hear. So he will fill your head with everything you want to hear. And um, this knight wants something from you. And what is that? He wants a second chance. Now it is possible also with judgment here that 
he would be asking for forgiveness for something that he's done in the past. And so then we have um, we have this card here of death. So when this card appears, it's a message um, that a huge transformation is currently underway or that you need to consider um, making a dramatic change in your life. And this is coming up. It's, it's not happening now, okay? But it is coming. So when this night comes in, this change, it's going to seem scary because it's not a direction that, it's a direction that you no longer were, uh, were going in or that you had given up on. So uh, now it's like it's come back and it's placed in front of you again. And so it can seem scary. It can seem risky. Um, however, this card assures you that as one situation ends, another is beginning. And you are not to allow a current situation that may be difficult for you to cause you to lose hope. Unexpected visitors, you can, um, you can expect, um, detours. You will be planning on going one way and suddenly you will shift and go another way. Surprises. Um, you might even surprise yourself. Something is about to be shifted. Now maybe when I said that you might surprise yourself. You might have been really really upset at this person and said <laughs> That's it. It's over. I'm never going back there again. <laughs> and here you are. Tempted to do exactly that. So, um, expect the unexpected. Plans get waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, these detours can seem inconvenient. But uh, a surprise turn of events um, signals the adventure is about to get very, very interesting. Understand that no one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and uh, destiny to meet, except spirit, of course. Who knows what you cannot comprehend for now? There is a plan for your life that may not match up with your own agenda. So, that card speaks to faded events, chance meetings, things you don't see coming. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has so generously sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.